Yes, I will tell you something about it. At the time of independence, photography had been around for 100 years. At the era of independence, the camera was not only taking pictures of the monumental events of independence, it was also something which had become intertwined with the everyday life of the cities, of the small towns. Photographic practice had become established in the studios of small towns so that the camera could photographs of people who would never have gone to any studio, like my mother-in-law. I never had a single woman to myself except working in the house, working outside, working in the dark room, working outside. Oh, the Melina is there, after today, bring her camera, every location. My kitchen was next to the uh, dark room, because my pantry was changed into a dark room. I was not always very happy with only taking photographs inside, because my mind always so higher. And there, you know, I could smell something burning, I would just close down one door and get into the other door, save the cooking, then come out into the dark room and then do the dark room work. <laughs> I wanted to go to, to Africa, to the world, that was my ambition. This is my picture, I said, because it, 
makes me look a little better looking than I look now. shows a certain hesitation in looking at the events of the partition directly. So the trauma is not fully visually rendered and I think this makes the partition as a kind of event that does not have a definitive beginning and that does not have a definitive end. It is rather like a script which has been erased over in parts, it has been rewritten, it has been retouched so that it is constantly living in memory. As particularly in the south where I come from, we sense that something horrible is happening. That I can tell you, and because we were reading the papers, and people used to come and tell us. But uh, photograph-wise, no. Uh, we are just shown um, loaded, overloaded trains coming and things like that. Even though they had faced a lot of devastation, um, my sense is that there was a certain kind of hope about the fact that there was a new nation, that the leaders were capable, and that therefore uh, there was a nearness also to the state, that this is our state. Basically, one of the things which uh which is important for us was the monolithic uh, Indian identity in very definite ways suppressed a range of other identities which are important for the people. Certainly in the 30s, 40s and the 50s was, uh, was an extremely important uh, national movement along with and associated with all the progressive writers associations that had come up also in the 30s. the interest, the kind of enthusiasm industry generated in the 50s, late 50s, early 60s, it's evident in his work. It, it touched every Indian's life at that point in time. The celebratory photographs of national reconstruction in the forms of dams, steel towns, large development projects, are also, in fact, a silencing of certain kinds of experiences. Um, in these photographs, you always see the worker in a relationship of harmony to the development project. 
And yet these were the development projects which led to the displacement of large numbers of tribal populations in the country. And we don't have portrayals of their sense of loss, their loss of home, their nostalgia for what it was that was lost in the process of this national reconstruction. Thank you.